their life the way that they should be and they're like trying to justify it by just coming to the house of God or whatever. But that relationship, I mean, I know how my kids, my kids were the same exact way. I knew when they were up to no good. I still do because they'd be short with me and they'd be off somewhere being quiet. I guarantee if Ivy gets quiet, somebody better be hunting her because she's into something. And Jewel, you said that tonight about, you know, about your, when, 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 when our relationship with God gets quiet, guess what? God's just the, he's our father. He'll come hunting us. He'll be like, hey, you got quiet. Where you been? Where you at? What are you into? That relationship, if we'll pray and we'll seek God, we have to pray and seek him continuously, not on Sundays, not on Wednesdays. But every day of our life, seeking God. Find time to pray. Find time to to seek God. I I catch myself a lot of times I have to, we we have a we have a thing at work that where we have to uh, if you get distracted, you have to take three steps back. Because I work on airplane engines and there are people that ride in airplanes, and so my job's kind of can be a little bit critical at times. And so that's a rule that we have is that if you get distracted, you take three steps back and you start from that point and go forward. If we get distracted in our walk with God, sometimes we might need to take three steps back and reevaluate and look at where our life is versus what the Word says and get our relationship back in right standing with God. Because unfortunately, there's a lot of people, that man that done that to those young girls, those young gymnasts, God still loves that man. Me and Christian, we're ready to cast him off into hell by the seed of his britches. But God still loves that man, even if we, even though he was wrong. And there's a lot of people that are lost and dying. We've got lost loved ones. And, 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 you know, and I want to see the Lord come back as, as much as anybody, but we need to be patient and wait upon him. Don't get ahead of it and... And don't just come to the house of God, uh, Brother Bill, thinking, well, I'm just going to sit in another service. He's liable to come tomorrow. And don't fulfill the will of God in our life. And don't, uh, you know, don't walk in the blessings of God because we're too worried about, well, just waiting on Jesus to come back. Be patient. Allow God to use you. There's still a work to be done. Amen. Don't, Don't give up on all humanity. He still loves them. They may be far-fetched, but He still loves them. His hand is not short that He can't reach them. Amen? We we just have to let go and let God and allow God to do what He wants to do in our life. Be patient and pray. That's what God would have me to tell you tonight is just to be patient and to pray because I know the struggle's real, the struggle in my life. I, I go through things. I mean, we... We just come through a huge battle of sickness through the house and, you know, but, but it's things like what Ivy does. I mean, at two that reels her 40 year old dad back into perspective and she walks around going, my finger's healed in Jesus name. Amen. And dad's like going, well, her fingers hurt, but let's Jesus come back. Just end it all. There's a perfect time. He's coming. Don't get me wrong. He's coming. But we need to be patient. And we need to be prayerfully seeking Him. And not just flying around by the seat of our britches and giving up on everybody and saying, well, they're too far gone. We, you know, leave them behind. It's His will that none should perish, but that all should come to repentance. I know I've said that a few times. You have to go back to what I talked about last Sunday night. Jesus said to the devil, consider my servant Job. Or God said, consider my servant Job. The devil said, you got a hedge about him. But man, Job is a perfect example of patience. God could have healed him instantly. But there was a perfect time. And there was a perfect place. And there was a perfect season. And a perfect plan. That's right. Just like for me and you in our life. But be, let's practice patience. In prayer. Seek God. God, I, I, wanted that, I wanted that struggle to be over very fast in my family that, was, you know, that we were sick. But man, it just kept like, 
It went on for like three, four. The doctor's like, well, it can last for seven to ten days. I was like, oh, my Lord. Seven to ten days? I can't do seven to ten days. But God healed us, delivered us, brought us out. We went through, had a wedding, and y'all you know, we moved on, and we're here tonight. Amen? We have to be patient and wait upon God. Because we learn things through those struggles. We, we learn things when we're in the fire. He said, what, it tries us by fire, and what, it bring us out is pure gold. Amen? So we've got to go, but we need to be patient in those areas in our life. Not seen them guys, you ever seen them guys walk on them, those hot coals? You ever seen those guys? Me? I got up there, I'd be like, whoo, just trying to touch it on my tippy toes. Them guys walk across them things, just, that's the way we got to walk through this life sometimes. It's tough. But if we be patient and we pray and we seek God, We'll come out victorious on the other side. We'll come out more refined. We'll come a better Christian, a closer walk with God. I don't know about you, but that's what I want in my life. I want to be close to God. I want to be close to God. So tonight, amen, patience and prayer. Patience and prayer. Those two things, the two Ps. Patience and prayer. He's coming. The Lord's coming. Continue to pray. Continue to seek God. Amen. I love you tonight. And God loves you tonight. Amen. I'm glad that you came to the house of God. I hope you've been encouraged. I hope you've been lifted up. I hope that, amen, that you uh, go out into this week and you're ready to to go out and and into the world and and to, to preach the gospel to the lost and dying that need to hear of salvation, that Jesus loves them and that he's here for them and we want to take them to heaven with us. Amen? If you would, let's stand to our feet tonight. Brother Marcus, you got anything? If, if not, you want to close us tonight in prayer? Amen? Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee. Zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwc mailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching, followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, please join us again next time for our broadcast.